Hi everyone, in today's What The Health video I'm going to be talking about how to get fit for free because as we all know gym memberships can be very expensive. I remember when I used to go to the gym I would be paying about £40 per month to go to the gym and that really adds up over the course of you know um, the months of the year and however long you go on for and plus um, I found with gyms as well that a lot of them have some funny clauses. So for example, uh, when I moved to a different um, location, I couldn't transfer my gym membership from one gym to the next. I had to cancel it, but you have to give like three months notice. So I ended up paying a lot of money for the time I wasn't using the gym. So it's very frustrating and I, there are some alternatives out there. So my first piece of advice would be to make use of free online workout videos that are reputable. So when I say that, um, I don't mean just kind of type in um, the workout that you want to do and just do any video that comes up. Do a little bit of research and make sure that the people whose workouts you are following are trained to give you that advice um, and you're going to be doing the exercises properly. So Fitness Blender are my ultimate favourite. I've mentioned them so many times on this channel, on Twitter, on my main channel, everywhere. I love Fitness Blender. I absolutely just think they have changed the way that I work out forever. Um, all of their videos are free on their YouTube channel and their website. You can buy um, their programs whereby you get, um, you kind of get an eight week program where you get told exactly what to do on which days. I love that, so I do do that. But it is an option to be totally free. There are some other really good um, fitness workout videos on YouTube as well. Um, I'd love to know which YouTube workout videos you guys do as well. So please feel free to let me know. You can also find um, online as well, on YouTube especially, some of the um, Jillian Michaels workouts that are on DVD, there are some of them online too. So there's a lot to choose from and it's a really great resource. Next up, community fitness. So there are loads of things going on in towns and cities across the country and I'm sure in other countries as well where people um, who are really enthusiastic about a particular thing like running, yoga, they all come together and work out as a group and maybe someone will take charge, etc, etc. But it means that it's actually a free thing to do. You're just working out with a lot of other people. And that some of the best ways to find out about these things are through um, social media, Twitter, etc. You can just like search online for sort of fitness clubs um, that are free to go to in your local area and I'm sure that you'll come across something. If you're at school or college or university, there may be some options for you to have some either free or quite good discounted um, either membership at a leisure centre that might be in affiliation with your school or after school um, exercise clubs or this there's lots of opportunities so I remember when I was at college at sixth form college there was um, some free sort of yoga classes that we could go to after college and we could make use of the gym that we had in the leisure centre that was attached to our school and we just um, found out about these cool extra things that happened so do ask your school college university if there are any um, free or discounted um, classes or memberships that you could perhaps take advantage of. There will probably be something, so it's definitely worth looking into. And finally, in the UK, I've noticed that in a lot of parks, there have sprung up these like makeshift exercise machines. Now they're not the kind of exercise machines that you'd find in a gym, um, but they are like decent ways of having a little workout. There's like the little step things, like little weights, you can't adjust them and okay they're really basic but they're better than nothing. If you're really struggling for money and you thought I just can't afford to go to the gym and just use all this equipment this month or whatever, you can just go to the, your local park, see if they have a little gym area. There are so many, I've seen them in loads of parks which is really exciting and really just awesome I think. I think it's a great step. And then the park itself, running. Okay, you have to buy, you know, gym clothes, trainers, etc. But just getting out there and having a run is free, you get fresh air, it's, it's good for you, it's good for your body and it's also good for your mind just to kind of clear your mind. There are, there are loads of sort of great outdoors things that are possible to do and it's just a case of finding out what's available in your local area and making the most of it.
So there are some of my quick tips on how to get fit for free. If you have any extras, again, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and also my links to my Instagram and Twitter accounts are in the description. So please go and feel free to give me a follow on there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.